Hey, what's up guys? Today we are just going to be watching a uh, another YouTuber's tournament. He's hosting it right now. Now, I met Ben when I was in uh, in Gap, Central Park. Hey, Ben! Hey, I'm Alex, man. Nice to, Alex, you. nice to meet you. I'm sure you guys know him. This is Ben Tim. So, One of the inspirations for uh, my like channel design. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's really good to meet you, man. Yeah, good to meet you. What's the best thing you got today? Uh, Snorlax. And we played Pokemon, and he was traveling, and I met him there in person first time, but I had watched him before. Okay, so here. It keeps filling up and uh, stuff like that. So here. We're gonna see what's going on. Let's see. We have a few guys from Peak Esports. We have a lot of guys from Peak Esports. Uh, we have Eminent Legend. Uh, I know this guy, Swoboy. So here, let's watch. Uh, how is our audio here? Here, so we're gonna watch this guy. Let's see what's going on here. Now I do have some snacks because I don't know how long this is gonna take, but I got some strawberries. Uh, I gotta actually go get some water. And I got like these dates. Dates are like this. Uh, it's like this. Uh, kind of fruit it's kind of like a I don't know what it is it's kind of like a uh, I guess a fruit here it is it's made out here in Bronx all right let's see what's going on here okay so we have a little tornado action on Swaboy's part so that pulled that hog over so that's a that's a huge advantage already uh, when you do that you're able to just uh, get extra defense for your tower and you can actually not even... At some point you don't even have to worry about a goblin barrel. So we have a, a barrel on uh, peak esports right now. If that gets zapped. So that's interesting. I'm a little bit surprised why that got zapped though. Because uh, if you know, the uh, there was a meta change where zap wasn't able to take out a goblin barrel. So we have a, a split a goblin gang right now. And that's being countered by a princess. So we got a fireball. That's that's actually a really wise play because you get tower damage, and you get uh, you take out the troops. So now he doesn't have to put anything at the uh, at the bridge. So usually, if you play princess, you want to play it on the opposite side because it forces the opponent to play something on the opposite side. So there, the uh, log went out. So he threw a barrel, but that's getting tornadoed. So not a lot of damage there. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. We're gonna come back to this. We'll see how these guys do. Alright, let's see who's in the lead. It's What I noticed, uh, it's very easy. I think this guy was number one, like just a few moments ago. He was number one, but then while he was playing, somebody just like moved up 10 spots. So it's very, very easy to, uh, uh, to lose a, a spot here. So we have 10 minutes left. Uh, looks like Ben left. Ben is not in the tournament anymore. Uh, so Roberto is in the lead. So that means it means all of these guys, if if not most, watch Ben Tim. So I think that's pretty cool. So we have somebody from Orange Juice. Here, let's uh, let's watch somebody from Orange Juice. I think we can. Uh, the reason I'm jumping around and I didn't finish that other battle is because there's only 10 minutes left, and I want to see what's going on. If there was somebody with me. We probably could have seen a little bit better. So we have a tornado to counter this golem push on a Chrissy's part. So that's actually a that was actually a fairly good counter. So what he needs to do is he needs to get the uh, the baby dragon out because, as you know, it's not the golem or the lava hound that does most of the damage, but what's behind it. So that's that's an inspiration from Clash of Clans. If you play Clash of Clans, main attacks are done like that you do you put in a if you're doing lava looning like lava hound balloons you put in the lava hound for the uh, for the air defense they start to counter that uh, and then and then the balloons come in behind and just sweep it up so then we have a uh, we have a lightning I'm not even sure who threw that lightning I think that was a uh, orange juice because they both have lightning okay so it looks like orange juice one over here and the other guy even though he had a really strong deck wasn't able to do it so that was actually very very good gunplay on uh chrissy's part over there so let's see who okay so she moved up to number six so we have uh joseph from hammer impact we have a uh, fuego let's watch this gameplay let's watch some of the top guys since ben left but, uh, there isn't really anybody to watch so we're gonna watch these guys so let's see we've got a well played um if you watch tournaments before, you, you know, you can't see the cards unless they play them. 
and I'm not sure if that that's done to prevent cheating or what, but I think the most important thing to know is what the other person's elixir is at. If you know what the other person's elixir is at, you can like play anything. I mean, if that person has like zero elixir and you play a Skarmy, by the time they get to his tower, they really do damage before you could play something. So I would think if they were gonna try to prevent some kind of uh, hacking or anything, they should really block the elixir as well. So we have a lot of damage on uh, Fuego's uh, tower over there. Um, and he's currently number two. So if he loses this, he's gonna lose a significant amount of uh, spots. So he's not doing very good. Yeah, let's have, let's have a little snack. Let's eat this strawberry. These are actually very fresh. Mmm. Very good. Alright, so we got a uh, lightning. I mean, we got a uh, we got a freeze over the tower there, so that was really good. But the balloon actually went down. So we have Goblin Gang for Goblin Gang action. We have a Lava Hound on the tower. Then we have a balloon coming in behind. Balloon is a little bit late, but it's not getting any uh, direct damage, so that's good. So I hit the tower. He's not gonna get off a uh, he get he doesn't get off a second shot, but then the uh, uh, his last bomb explodes. So they're actually each trying to three crown each other. Which is probably the best move because they're all so low. So at this point, this is a really tough, uh, a really really tough uh, defense over here. Uh, he has a balloon coming in the back. Uh, Fuego is working extra hard to defend that uh, tower. So he's at 417. His opponent is at 1363. So Marco throws a lightning that gets him down to 71. He throws the arrows and that gets the tower. That was very very close game. Just another two seconds and Fuego probably would have get that game. So let's see what we have here. We have Big Lou, number second. Uh, Fuego is... He went down nine spots. So just one loss in a live tourney gets you out a lot. So let's see who's in the... Roberto is still in the lead. Roberto is still in the lead. And I don't know if he has to play anything right now to uh, get into uh, number one. Because it doesn't look Big Lou. It doesn't look like Big Lou is playing. And I think Joseph, if Joseph wins, he could probably uh, get into number one. So here, let's watch this one. So they both have uh, one tower down on each other. Uh, looks like there is a poison that kind of had an error. It didn't seem like it was doing anything to the tower. So we have a, a mini P.E.K.K.A. And a, and a giant push. That does a lot of damage if that P.E.K.K.A. is alone, but then we got a little nice counter there. So it's 541 and we're in overtime. So next tower to go down wins. So we have a uh, we have a log that takes care of a lot of troops there. So is this guy going to defend or here we go, we have a little bit of action. So now all he has to do is just put a uh, another something on the tower and a giant in the pocket there. You see, so there it goes. So, okay, so this this is going to be game right here. This is gonna be game. That was actually a really good job. Yeah, he got a he he's like a little bit even surprised, Joseph. So let's see if Joseph is a number one. I think that should have knocked out the other guy. No, he went into number two. Wow. Roberto is really, really holding down the lead. Uh Chrissy moved up. We can see Chrissy. Uh Cam is making his way up. He's still at 150 cards. He started. Uh, like he went up to a six or seven. I was watching this tournament from the start, but we're here in the last game So I don't think Roberto is allowed to get into a game I think that's what's going on looks like he's just locked in there and he may have well secured the spot So it looks like Joseph got into number two So I think the only thing right now is being played off is somebody who's gonna get into uh, Just stay in the third spot. So let's see what big Lou is doing Let's see if he can defend this spot or if he's gonna get pushed out so we have a, a huge counter push going here by Altij Merijin. Uh He's from Hammers, uh, New Zealand. Uh, so we have a, a arrows over all of that action over there. So he, a Big Blue has a huge lead in Elixir. But he's going to have to start doing something about uh, the golem that's coming towards him. So he starts with the counter golem push to try and distract whatever is uh, behind the golem. So we have arrows over the uh, minions and he missed one. So now he drops a lumberjack to defend that. That's actually a very, very good counter push. But now at, at alt right over here comes in with a huge counter push again. Uh, there's a three musketeers in the pocket there. You have a uh, 
You have a you have a lightning that just came over. This is a this doesn't look really good for Big Lou. He might lose his position here uh, in the tournament. So we have a uh, we have a lumberjack actually going in the front. It really has to be in the back to play this deck correctly. So we have a uh, raged minion horde. We have a raged we have a raged golem. This actual tower. Look at that tower. It's actually melting. Wow, Big Lou actually uh, came back really really strongly on this one. So that was actually really really cool. All right, so we're here. We have we have Big Lou who actually went in number one. Okay, so you it looks like you can't climb up in here, and he because he was three already, he he wasn't fighting to defend this spot, but he even uh, climbed up above. So now we have Roberto uh, number two, Joseph number three, and it looks like these guys can actually potentially uh, fight for another. So two minutes is up for grabs for uh, number one. So here, let's go to the next one. Uh, we have uh, you and Flash playing. Looks like you is in the lead with uh, one tower down. We have a uh, we have a center lava hound and a, and a center balloon, but that actually that's gonna re get redirected to the uh, king tower. Uh, we had a clone over there. All this guy needs is actually a freeze, but the balloon is completely locked onto the tower. There's nothing that this guy can stop. Wow, this guy actually is gonna get the game right now, and the uh, the bomb over there actually should take that down. Wow, that was amazing gameplay. That was actually really, really quick. Okay, so you just uh, won this game, but where did that take him? I don't think that took him anywhere. Somebody else just beat him out, you see? So this this tournament is really, really dirty. Okay, so here, let's follow Roberto. Let's see if he's going to uh, climb up to uh, number one over here. It looks like he, he was number one just prior, so now he's actually trying to defend himself again and see if he can get into number one. So he needs... If he secures this win, I think that's going to lock him for number one. Um, and then we'll see what other active games are up uh, and if they can go in. So do we need to root for anybody? I guess I can root for Roberto because he already had his spot. So we'll see how that goes. So then we have a, a hog that just got taken out by this uh, Electro Wizard. We have a Golem. Uh, you see, now this is a perfect Golem push. If you're trying to uh, play Golem. Uh, you see the baby dragon is right behind and it's not getting attacked or anything. So he's doing a lot of damage to the tower. And actually that was a good way to kite that uh, mega minion. But that took out the knight too. So this guy actually didn't get any damage on the tower. So now look at this baby dragon. Full health. Still taking down the tower. Uh, 48 seconds left in the game. It looks really, really tight for a goblin guten over here. Roberta might actually just go up back into number one. So... Uh, we have an Electro Wizard taking out the uh, the Hog Rider over there. We have a huge push by Roberto. You see how he pushes the he places the Baby Dragon in the back so it can catch up to the uh, Golem at the bridge. So now the now Go Goblin thinks he's low on Elixir and he pushes a Hog with the Ice Spirit, but he actually was able to stop that. They're both running pumps. Okay, so they're both running pumps. Uh, so that does a lot of damage. And I think uh, Roberto might actually even take out a uh, second tower. So that puts Roberto back into number one. Uh, the tournament is officially over. So now we have just a few of the last gameplays. He can still get kicked out if... Um, well, actually, Chrissy or Big Lou can actually still take, kick him out. So here, let's watch uh, Big Lou. Let's see how he's following up over here. So we have a uh, we have one tower down on Zoom Link. So Big Lou is in the lead. Uh, there's almost 68 viewers right now. This is amazing. I'm going to take the screenshot. I... I'm going to tweet this uh, to Ben. Okay, we got 74, 75, 76, uh, 78 viewers. That is a lot of viewers. Look at this action. Look at the action on the tower. Uh, Zoom Link just got three crowned. That was actually a really, really tight game. That came out of nowhere, too. So we have Big Lou number one. We have Roberto number two. Looks like he lost his spot. He can't do anything about it. Big Lou secured his position. That's the way it is. Until this tournament is not over and until you had your last try, it's almost really, really hard to say that you're going to secure a spot. So Flash and Chrissy are both down one tower. Uh, Chrissy appears to be in the lead. Uh, so we have a, a, a defensive tornado, which actually does a lot of work because an executioner is placed there. So look at all of this confetti here. Let's contribute a little bit. So we have uh, 79 viewers. Um, so there goes a log to clean that uh, action out. He's a little bit uh, early with it because there's a Skarmy, and I wish uh, Chrissy knew that. I'm sure she did, but she just she has a, an Lexer lead though, 
so she can play a lot. All she has to do really, I think, is defend and do some really good counter pushes. So that was actually a very good log. You don't mind the scar me there. So we have a uh, we have a knight going in to tank for the hog. Uh, the hog is the win condition for this deck. She pulls the uh, wizard in the back, so she plays that. Uh, she plays that offensive tornado. Actually, that does really good. So this, the executioner took out the uh, the counter push over there. So look at this confetti, guys. This is just amazing. Look at all the confetti going on. So we have a hog going in the pocket there, and then we have a goblin barrel. Uh, Chrissy is just missing a log. If she had a log, she could have cleaned all that up. So now we have an electro wizard. This this fight is really really strong. These guys are really fighting for a second third position here. We have a uh, naked execution going. We have a okay. This execution might clean up the Skarmy, and then this uh, log actually does a lot for uh, Chrissy if she plays this lightning and log. That's gonna secure the win for her. Here we're gonna take another screenshot just because there's so many people here, and then there. Uh, this is just like one of the last few games going on here. All Chrissy needs is a lightning and a log, and that's actually gonna give her the win. Uh, well, actually, that might not. That might not. Okay, she needs to defend this. She needs to have a log right now or uh, she's actually going to lose this match. So there we go. Her uh, tower can actually defend the goblin barrel, so that's really good. Uh, at this point, all she needs is a lightning. There we go, and that was for the win. Well played. Uh, Chrissy might have gotten into second position. We're gonna watch right now. Uh, the tournament is pretty much over. She got into third. Okay, so she got into third. Looks like Big Lou finished number one, so that's going to be 200 cards for him. Uh, Roberta finished in number two. He was able to stay number one for a while, um, so I, I, I didn't see him play against Big Lou, but chances are he probably did, but he still got uh, 1,200 cards for himself, so that is a lot. Uh, Chrissy ended up with 800 cards. Uh, now, the rest of the guys, uh, Cam the man, he had number one for a while, but he finished off number five. Uh, Fuego, we watched, he got him 150 cards. And it doesn't look like Ben Tim is here, but the rest of these guys are going to get 50 and uh, 25 cards. So, big shout out to Ben Tim. Uh, go check out his channel if you guys want to get into a future tournament. Um, I missed my opportunity. I was watching it the whole time, but I think I'm going to get into on the next one. So yeah, so if you want, uh, guys, subscribe to my channel for more uh, Clash Royale material, and I'll catch you in the next one.